Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria and it's time for our motivation segment this morning. And I think today was one of the best days to have a motivation segment because we have a perfect example of someone who is motivating Nigerians all over the world uh, with what she's doing. Uh, Hilda Bassi is still live cooking. She's broken the Guinness World Record for longest cookathon, and it's amazing. Our topic today is leveraging growth to achieve transformation. And we have Shei Jolayemi right here with us. And as she is an effective brand communications expert with over 12 years experience. And it's great to have you back in the thank studio. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to be here exactly on this very day. This but very Ilda day. is doing something so good. She's doing Making something. Making all good. of us so proud. Honestly. <clears throat> when it comes to those two words, transformation and leveraging on growth. Growth. Yes. So it does feel like, uh, as, as I said before, a perfect example, yep. growth. We had uh, Hilda here Hilda, some time yes, back yes, yes. Uh, and she, she you know, gave us a great meal. Mm. And it was obvious she had grown in her industry, Indeed, yes. right? Yes, truly. But let's talk about growth itself and why it's important before we can have transformation. Mm. All right. So the truth is many of us actually want that big break. And transformation actually really brings that big break. Okay. But we don't realize that if you're not growing before that, mm. you can't have what to sustain the big break with. Mm. I can imagine that, you know, Ilda has been honing her trade. She's mm. been growing, understanding mm. recipes. What does it take to cook these, this meal for this, you know, nation, mm. this, this diet plan, yeah. who is working on something I need to know, mm. you know, reading books, getting involved in programs and, you know, uh, sessions yeah. with people, improving incrementally in all the things that she had to do. I mean, you said she was here just about a month ago yeah. or something, you know, to showcase what she had as well. All of that is growth. Mm. But certainly this current feat is a transformation for her. And transformation comes with that quantum leap mm. into something, somewhere you've never been before. Yeah. But usually you don't even get the springboard to step into transformation if there is no growth. So we can say that growth is your springboard into transformation. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people think uh, stardom happens basically overnight. And we're not saying that miracles don't happen. Sure. But it does feel like the process is a very long and grueling one. Mm. Um, how can we motivate people who are still growing in their industries? Well, I, I believe that when you stop growing, <coughs> you actually totally truncate your possibility of transformation. And this is not to say that, you know, you should... Um, in, look towards just transformation and not continue to grow. But if you are not growing and if you don't continue in that growth pattern, if you're not consistent, if you don't continue to be intentional about that growth, you can't actually have that opportunity for the transformation that you so seek. You know, I can imagine, you know, we don't have the back, full backstory, and I believe we will in yeah. the next few days. Sure. But what did she have to go through? How many months, possibly years of planning? Yeah. What did she have to learn to put it on her mind? Yeah. She had to build a team. She had to, you know, plan this well, apply, of course, for this um, opportunity to yeah. also try to beat that record. Mm -hmm. She had to think global. Mm -hmm. I mean, I heard she had to lose weight yeah. so that she could at least, you know, get the stamina, the required yeah. resilience to stay for all of those hours, all of that has the growth embedded in it. Mm. And whatever growth it is that you are involved in today, yes, it's, it's possible for you to look towards transformation and then see how you can leverage the inputs you have now mm. for that big leap that you are expecting to have. Okay, so when people eventually get to that point where the big leap needs to happen, okay. it does feel like it's, um, it's either a lot of people just give up yep or they take that step. Well, let's talk a little bit about risk. Mm. Getting to that point where you need to take that big step. Mm. What do you think happens to the average person? <laughs> okay, so I want to believe that you have to be beyond average to seek transformation. Okay. If you want to stay in the realm everybody is in, then that means there's nothing different about you. Mm. So you can say that um, you know, growth is you know, increasing gradually, building up and improving on the existing structure you have in your business, for example, yeah. while transformation is innovation. 
Mm. And if you keep staying on the average, you certainly will not get to that point where you can innovate. Mm. Mm. So to a large extent, you need to think out of average. Okay. Yes, we talk about in the box, outside the box, yeah. without the box. Well, let's not think without the box. But then you need to be thinking, what is the difference I can make? Yeah. And transformation also has a lot to do, not just with you, but how what you're doing can change the world. Okay. So now she's already thinking of how she's putting Nigeria at the forefront of yeah. something. This is beyond her as a person. She's challenged you know, young minds, other uh, chef chefs all over the world yes. to step out and do something phenomenal and extraordinary. You know, and stop at nothing to get that which you want. I actually, um, I, when I asked the question, I was trying to find a roundabout way to touch on the naysayers and the haters <laughs> and those who probably would try to talk people out of doing mm. great things. Mm. <clears throat> I'm trying to imagine how many people probably told her, what's doing you? Go yes. and open a restaurant somewhere now. I mean, you chop your money. Yes. But as you said... You can't just be average. You yeah. have to do something <clears throat> extraordinary. extraordinary. And people will certainly want to discourage you. <coughs> people who are going nowhere wonder why you want to go somewhere. Mm. So you have to know where you want to go. Hold that thought and that vision strong in your mind. Mm. Keep growing towards the person who can actually achieve that transformation. Yeah. Because she just wouldn't have woken up last night mm. to say, oh, in the next um, 90 hours, I would be... No, no, it took planning. It took mm. going against the odds. Yeah. Maybe she even had people in her family who felt like, oh, what, what came out of your mom yeah. being uh, yeah. a chef or a cook? Can you not dream bigger <laughs> than this? But sure. naysayers will always come. They will want to discourage you. Mm. They won't want you to go for your growth. Mm. So when you are now talking transformation, it is beyond what they are Minds yeah. can say, yeah. but then you need to continue to leverage on that growth. Go against the odds. Growth itself is tough, but transformation is certainly tougher. Hopefully we have enough time. I just want to touch on fear, okay? Because in the end, that transformation progress yes. is very painful. It is. And as we could see, it is. Um, you know, it takes a lot of sacrifice. It does. Well, we love to see your comments and contributions in the comment section on this post or indeed uh, on social media with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We would love to hear what you think about leveraging on growth.